This is a 1991 Ford F Super Duty that I sprayed with Kirker Wimbledon White. So if you're watching this video, you probably searched for Kirker Wimbledon White. Same like me about a year ago. I was looking for some sort of results and I, I couldn't find anything. So I thought maybe I'd put a little video together on what it's like using this paint. But before I talk too much about that, I want to say I'm not an expert painter. I'm not a professional painter. I'm an amateur at best. Now I do get pretty good results, but a lot of that's just through persistence and inefficiency. Sometimes I'm spraying a panel two or three times to get the results that I'm after. So I end up wasting a lot of product and that's just because I don't do it enough. But with that said, you know, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my personal experiences spraying it. And to be honest, it wasn't easy to spray it. All right, I used the uh, Black Diamond series, the urethane base coat. So it's a base coat, clear coat system that I used. I think that there was a different clear coat that I should have used, but I saw this one and it said high solids. And for some reason, I just always feel like I should use high solids because I plan to wet sand the hell out of it. And I want to make sure I have a lot of film thickness with that clear. So that's why I always go with a high solids. So the, the black diamond stuff, it mixes four to one, which is similar to mixing primer. It had the consistency of primer, I, I feel like. And um, this is a acrylic urethane clear. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's what I use. So one of the mistakes I made was I ordered medium speed activator. I shouldn't have done that. I should have used slow. And the thing is, I knew that. It's just I don't paint enough to remember all the details. So yeah, don't get medium speed if you're doing a big paint job. You need to get slow. Medium is for pretty much for spotting in. I don't know what you would use fast for. No clue. Maybe if you're trying to spray at 32 degrees. But um, when I sprayed this, I did try a range of temperatures. I tried to spray at 70, and the paint came out very gritty. Uh, and then I tried to, to spray it like, it was like 58 to 60 degrees, and that, that was my temperature. It worked really well with this medium speed activator. So maybe the slow speed at 70 would work better. I haven't tried. So I sprayed it through the Devilbus Finish Line 3. It's a very beginner gun. It comes with multiple tips. You can get a 1.3, 1 1.5, 1.8, and I believe a 2.2 tip. I sprayed the base coat through the 1.5, but I feel like maybe I should have been spraying through a 1.8. I'm not sure. So the nice thing about a base coat clear coat system is you can hide a lot of the imperfections in the base. Like I mentioned that, sprayed kind of gritty at 70 degrees well when i sprayed that that was mo that was the door i sprayed this in several stages i did the, the the body shell in one stage and then i did the doors and i did the rest at another stage i did the hood very last but the doors came out pretty gritty but i was able to layer that clear coat on there and it it really hid all that grittiness it doesn't look bad at all well it looks pretty good to be honest now, the truck is full of imperfections because I was really going for a cheap paint job because this is my new work truck. This is the first nice looking work truck I've ever had so that's kind of exciting. So there are like some fish eyes and a lot of wet sanding went into this. Well actually let me take that back. A lot of wet sanding went into the doors because they were they were gritty and I was trying to hide all the the issues. The fenders I sprayed them, the fenders and uh, whatever you call this panel, and uh, this one here. I sprayed those when it was like 58 degrees, and they just, they came out amazing. I did a very light wet sand with like 2,000 grit on the, the fenders, and I buffed them. And they, they look OEM pretty much. The hood I painted at a little bit warmer of a, a temperature, and I did do a lot of wet sanding with that, 1500 to 2000 then buffing. Now when I buffed it all out, I used um, these Presta products. I've been using this for years. And what I do is just two stages. I do the cutting cream with a black pad and then the polish with the blue pad. And then I hit it with this hand glaze and this, well, it, it's a white pad. It's just, it's about 10 years old, so it's yellow now. And then I did, uh, for this video, I used a little bit of fast wax and some of the smudgy spots. This is an auto body safe wax. You can do it on fresh paint because you shouldn't use wax on fresh paint because it would seal in the solvents. So you don't want to 
you want to make sure that you have something that's body shop safe. So all in all, I, I think it was a difficult paint to spray, but I would use it again. I mean, the, the price, it's so cheap. It was like $125 for the gallon of paint. And then I can't remember what the activator was. Of course, this was a year ago. It's probably a little more now. But for that price, you really can't beat it. I, uh, I priced painting this truck with a gallon of PPG DBU. And it was like, I think it was over $700 for the paint and the activator. That didn't include any clear. So yeah, for, for the price, I would definitely do it again. I ordered it from autobodytoolmart.com and I requested a chip book too. So they, they sent me this Kirker chip book. So this is really, really cool. There are a lot of really interesting colors in here. So I would request that if you're planning on using this Kirker paint, like I'm for my next truck, my F600, I'm going to be using one of these red colors. But the one thing about all these colors, it's kind of deceiving because they're not all a, uh, they're not all of them available in a base coat. Some of them are only single stage. So you kind of got to pick which one you want to use and figure it out. If you're, if you're good at spraying single stage, then go for it. But I am not. So there you go. That's what Kirker Wimbledon White looks like what it was like to spray it. Yeah, I really like it. I really feel like it's a very factory looking color for these, these old Fords. It's similar in my opinion to the Colonial White. It's a little more elegant, I think. But I really like it.